Hyundai just showed the refreshed 2023 Palisade at the New York Auto Show. So these are the very first images of the Palisade. Let's get into it. What's new for 2023? The Palisade gets a refreshed exterior, interior, new infotainment, safety features, and advanced driver assistance systems. Well, they certainly have made a statement with the front grille. It has a stately looking exterior design. It gets a new front end and rear bumper fascia and a new bolder and wider grille. The new vertically connected LED composite lights frame the grille, creating a sharp edged look. Also, there's new 20 inch multi-spoke alloy wheels, giving the Palisade a strong road presence. I think I like this more. I like this really Bold grill, and I don't mind that the headlights are now vertical. I just wish that they had the headlights carried through right next to the grill. So, what you're looking at here is these look like little chiclets, yeah. these chrome little bumps to make up the grill. The ones that go off to the side make it look, Andrea, like they're headlamps. They're not, they're, they're just not. part of the grill. Yeah. The headlamps are actually in the lower part, those round features and the vertical stack daytime running lights. You know what this looks like to me, Andrea? This looks like Hyundai is copying Cadillac's vertical uh, lighting signature design and they have thin headlamps yeah. where this one has those chiclets. Yeah, you know what? It's worked well for Cadillac, so why not for Hyundai with this Palisade? I think it looks refreshing. Reminds me a lot of a Lincoln. It's very stately looking. It's definitely going to stand out on the road for sure. They didn't do much to the back. I mean, they say they changed it, but I can't really see much difference. No. It looks uh, very similar and that has a bit of a Range Rover kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah. So it's a bit of a hodgepodge when it comes to design languages, but I think it looks okay. Yeah, I think it's going to work and they're going to sell lots of them. I'm sure of it. The elegant and sophisticated interior design of the Palisade is still present with standard eight passenger seating for your family adventures. There is the addition of a new instrument panel, gauge cluster and audio interface design. The Palisade gets a new 12 inch touchscreen with navigation, enhanced USB-C ports, which replace USB-A ports for quicker charging and enhanced wireless device charging upgraded from five watts to 15 watts to charge your phone faster. Hyundai offers new seating surfaces and materials including cloth, leatherette and Napa leather plus an ergo motion driver's seat to help improve comfort and reduce fatigue on those longer trips. New slim horizontal air vents add a sense of spaciousness and the instrument panel has been redesigned with new ambient lighting themes. The Palisade has an available second row captain's chairs and the second row seats offer what Hyundai calls wing out headrests and seat ventilation for extra comfort. The one touch second row seat allows for easy operation to move the seats forward, get out of the way for easy access into the third row. The third row offers power folding and unfolding and reclining seats. The top calligraphy model that you're looking at has the addition of acoustic laminated rear door glass. I like the changes, they're all welcome except for the ugly steering wheel. I don't mind it. What don't you like about it? I don't know. It's like, it's trying too hard to be like a yacht or something, <laughs> right? Like Hyundai and Genesis have done some ugly steering wheels. Put a three spoke sport wheel in there. You have me all day long. This thing, I'm not sold on. Okay, it. I'm with you on Genesis for sure, but this one I'm not bothered with. It's not like I looked at it and went, oh. No, I looked this at it. I, I don't like like the Genesis. I looked at wheel. it and I went, oh. I really like the addition of the 12-inch touchscreen. I think that it has a really bold presence in the interior. So just as a reference point, the old touchscreen was 10.25 inches, so it's grown and that's good. This reminds me a lot of the Kia Carnival. It's got the 12.3 inch touchscreen and the 12.3 inch digital driver display as well. So they've kept all the buttons, which yeah. I like. So I'm a button guy. I don't like having to go into an interface. You can see there's a, a whole row of keys below the infotainment system yeah. to get into things you use all the time. There's buttons on the center console. Unfortunately, the one thing I don't like for buttons, Andrea, yeah. the transmission. Yeah, and button have, shifter. So between the push button transmission and the yacht steering wheel, I'm kind of more the Kia Telluride guy myself. Are you? Yeah. Oh, I really like the ambient lighting in here. That's another nice touch that they've added. Overall, the interior looks beautiful, but it looked beautiful before. Yeah. They've just added to it to make it look even more elegant. More posh. <laughs> 
There is a new urban trim for 2023, similar to the Santa Fe and Tucson urban models that are already in the Hyundai SUV lineup. The Palisade Urban will include a more rugged look with dark accents and a dark front grille finish, black roof rails, and 20-inch alloy wheels. Unfortunately, Hyundai didn't supply us with pictures or video of the Urban model. What Hyundai didn't change is the powertrain. It's still the same 3.8-liter V6 and an 8-speed automatic transmission. 291 horsepower, 262 pound-feet of torque. It's the Hyundai H-Track all-wheel drive system, which gets some changes. Tow mode adjusts the towing powertrain profile, holding lower gears longer and reducing the frequency of shift response. The all-wheel drive system was developed as a multi-mode system, providing electronic variable torque split clutch, with active torque control between the front and rear axles. The driver selectable H-Track system includes normal, sport, smart drive, and it gives drivers the confidence to tackle all kinds of terrain. Hyundai has expanded its safety technologies on the 2023 Palisade with rear side impact airbags as standard equipment and offers a suite of advanced driver assistance systems. New technology includes remote start parking assist, enhanced forward collision avoidance, highway driving assist, navigation based smart cruise control and reverse parking collision avoidance assist. So when is this going to be available? Well, it's going to be available this summer and no official pricing has been announced yet. They always do that closer to the on sale yeah. date. And I would call this a classic mid cycle refresh. For sure. And it's going to have a new color as well called Robust Emerald. And just to give you an idea with the 2022 pricing, the Palisade starts at just over $43,500 in Canada and just over $33,000 in the US. The top calligraphy trim is just over $57,000 Canadian and just over $47,000 in the U.S. And do you know what the U.S. offers? It offers on the 2022 Palisade. I wonder if it will carry through to this model, but free scheduled maintenance for three years or 36,000 miles. Geez, time to move, Andrea. Get <laughs> it's a some good price. Cheaper right? product, yeah. more coverage. Um, the thing about this has been very, very, very popular. Yeah. So I, as I said, during the video, I'm more of a Kia Telluride kind of guy. I kind, I just like the look of it better and I like the interior better, but there's loads of people like this Palisade uh, more than the Kia. It's, it's nice that they have both for you to choose from. Yeah. And now you've got one with a bigger grill, more lights, and a weird looking steering wheel. <laughs> I agree with you. I think the Telluride has a more rugged look and you've got those cool yellow lights, the headlights. Um, but overall, I think that the Palisade has a more sophisticated and elegant look to it. Mm -hmm. So there's two vehicles for two different groups of people. All right, hopefully you like this sneak peek. If yeah. you want to follow along, if you like this, you could subscribe and hit the bell. That's very helpful. Yes, And also very. follow Andrea's Instagram. It's motormouth underscore Andrea. And we do these all the time, right? Yeah, we put out a lot of content each week on the Motormouth YouTube channel. So if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and you'll be notified when all of our reviews drop.